to do how will come back uh, nice to uh, the same venue uh, like uh, last year last year it was a challenge between you and mm -hmm. Sam Kendricks uh, let's say how do you feel to come back to Doha it's a special feeling you know because it was, it was a it was just a crazy championship overall last year the first time competing here in Doha and it you know, looking back on it, I did everything. I mean, I would have loved to get first place. I would have loved to get the gold, of course. But, I mean, at the time, I did everything that I could do. And I had such a fantastic competition. Sam did. It was one of just those exhilarating competitions that you don't get to see all the time. So, um, yeah, it's nice to get, the, I guess, that rematch back with Sam on Doha track um, since we had such a crazy battle last year. But, um, so, I'm, I'm excited for it. You say, you say that it was like a battle last year and then mm. this year is coming back. Is somehow a revenge in Doha, in Qatar? <laughs> Between you guys? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. But we have a lot of great jumpers tomorrow. We have Renault out here. We have Ben, Sam, of course. And, um, you know, you can't underestimate those guys. Those guys can, can jump really good on any given day. So it's it's... <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's revenge is is a strong word, but it's it's probably something like that. <laughs> yeah, they say it is a friend and revenge. Uh, back to, to to this season. This season it was a challenge for every athlete, and uh, also with this pandemic and circumstances. Uh, did 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 you face any? Let's say did you maintain the same line on the training, or did you push yourself more than ever? How it was during this year? Well, before the indoor season, it was great. Uh, I my training was going great. I had a great indoor season, of course. But um, after that, when everything got shut down, I mean, it was, it was hard for me to do anything. I think same for everybody. And so, I mean, it was almost like this two month off period almost that I got to take, which was, I mean. For peak shape wise, it wasn't the best thing, but mentally wise, it was it was a nice little break. When we got back into the outdoor season, I started off a little slower than I was. I mean, of course, in the indoor season, where I wasn't in shape to jump six meters yet in the beginning. But then, you know, when I I was been in Uppsala, Sweden, this entire summer, and if I were to train, so once I got there, I knew that if you just give me a couple months here that I can make some, some special things happen even in this outdoor season with the, with all the you know crazy stuff going on. And uh, the question also to all the athletes, has this new normal of competing, you know, in front of little or no fans, mm -hmm. uh, affect uh, the performance? And uh, how do you mentally also push yourself, for example, to perform in an empty uh, yeah. stage uh, tomorrow evening? It's tougher. It's tougher though. But I jumped 6:15 last week in an empty stadium, so it, I mean it's it's possible to jump high. I mean you can you can definitely do it. It's not. I mean it's a different feeling for sure. Same that same rush without the people there watching you and you know kind of cheering you on and giving you that little adrenaline boost towards the end. But um, you know we're, we're competitors, and when if all the guys are out there competing against each other, then we can make special things happen. We don't need anybody else to watch. This is the second part of the question also. What's the, your aspiration, especially in Doha, after you yeah. made the world record and then to come back to Doha, mm. the aspiration for you yeah. to be here? I mean, every meet that I go to, I'm going to try to give it 100%. I'm going to give it 100% and I'll do whatever I can do on that given day. Um, I mean, <laughs> I, saw, I, never, I never actually jumped to this venue, so I, I don't really even know what to expect really, but um, I mean that's a lot of me this year. I've been just new, new scenarios, new uh, scenery for me. But um, I mean I've been jumping good. I've been jumping good, and it's my last meet of the season, which was a pretty long season. And so try to try to end it with a bang. Uh, 2020 was supposed to pick uh, with the Olympic Games in Tokyo, and uh, this uh, post tournament of the games uh, did. Uh, affect your preparation somehow. And uh, the last question will be, what are the plans after Doha? Yeah, well, I would say, the only th probably just the motivation. If 
factor of it in the beginning, when it was like March, April, maybe beginning of May, when I was in Louisiana and everything was closed, and we, I mean, it was already, the Olympics got postponed, the European Championships got postponed, and it was, it was kind of like, a, what do you, what are you training for, really? You know, what, what is, what's important to you? And I, I, I had, I had to figure that out for myself, and uh, because I wasn't going to have a major championship this year, and I knew that, and that's usually what's the most important thing to me, is I want to be the best when the moment is is the brightest, and when it's the most important moment. So um, I just kind of sat back and I, I told myself, I mean, I'm not going to have a championship meet this year. So I, I mean, the only thing that I, I want to do really now is I'm going to have a nice string of meets now. They had all these meets that I was starting to get planned. And I knew that Sam, I knew that Renault, and then we're going to start going to these meets. And uh, I just wanted to get back in that six meter shape, getting over those six meter bars again, maybe even a little higher. And that, that was pretty much the only goal of this outdoor season because I mean, when you have no championship, you try to treat every every meet like a championship. And this is my last question. Do you have any message to this young generation watching you guys, Sam Hendricks and the other athletes? They, they have to keep this faith uh, to, to, yeah. to be to be the future like you, yeah. like uh, Sam. Do you have uh, some message to them? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to find what, what you love about the sport. You know, and um, so sometimes it changes. Sometimes it changes what your you know your desires it desires are, and it, it changes for me year year in and year out. But um, you know, for me, there's a lot of things that I like like about pole vaulting and love about pole vaulting that I've been loving for a long time now, and so I've just always been really passionate about it. And you know, when if you're passionate about something and you and you put all your effort towards something, you know, good things are going to happen no matter what. Thank you. Thank you. Hey.